What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another Tasty Tuesdays Talk. I'm Zebra, and today on the show, I have Miss Ralphie with me. Hey, hey, hey. How are you doing? <laughs> I am good. Sweaty, but good. Sweaty. <laughs> We're all sweaty. Everyone is sweaty. Got the, the little heat wave going in uh, it's Los Angeles. It's lovely, yeah. It's our summer in uh, pretty much a week and a half. Because uh, right? we, it was really nice before all this. It was beautiful. So. And then we just got our little... I knew it was coming. September's the hottest month. Uh-huh. I've been waiting for it. It just really hits you, though, when it gets here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Australian. Uh-huh. I've been in LA for 11 years, moved over here to do music, and yeah, I do indie pop music. Your background has always been music, Gr- growing um, up? Or growing, I mean, I, did, I started you? off doing dance, like uh-huh. ballet. Apparently, I asked my mom at three that I wanted to do, mom goes, I have no idea where you got this idea in your head, because none of my family is mm-hmm. really into music. Or dancing. Or any they're type all of sporty. No, they're all like more into sports. Well, Australians. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> surf, skate. Surf, kinda... Yeah, all that stuff. And yeah. My, yeah, mom was like, you just randomly asked to go do some ballet classes. And then I just loved it. I love dancing. I love dance. I did a lot of dance growing up because to me, it's, you know, you got to act in, in the dance performances mm-hmm. and stuff. And our, the, our ballet schools were quite big and they were like big shows, which was, at the end of the years. And that's where I've, I think I had my love of like theater. And then I went into more, like I did lots of theater growing up um, and at school did all the theater stuff and like love it. And then started working on some acoustic things back in Australia. Cause I think I was too scared to come out and say that I wanted to do pop music. But what kind of music were you, you grew up singing or did you like performing before you um, started doing pop music or was it always pop music? Probably. I mean, it was very influenced like by pop, but also like I lo- did love musical theater mm-hmm. things, stuff. So I was always had musical theater like Grease and I don't know what. And now I can't even. Les Miserables was one of my favorites. Rocky Horror Show. Mm-hmm. I love them all. Like so okay. Paul, my poor brothers would just get to hear that on repeat. You've done a quite a different, uh, why, I would say not everything's in the, I mean, everything's in a pop realm, but it's definitely influenced from the 80s, the definitely. 90s. And then you have some more, you did some outside the box, like more modern things, yeah. I would say. But uh, what were the kind of influences from? Were you a Madonna fan or? Huge Madonna fan. Like, so, but I actually don't reference her music very, very much because I Just, think I'm everyone this. was giving me Madonna so much when I wasn't even trying to be. I think yeah. it was I getting think it's annoyed. more the style. Like, yeah. it's not what you're singing about or anything. It's just kind of some of the, and you talk in some of your songs, which. Yes, which she does. Yeah, she's done. Yeah. Um, and that's just what I thought, you know, she, she's the, one of the biggest pop stars. I mean, stars she's of one of the biggest, like, so, she's an icon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it, her and I love Cindy Lauper. Cindy, I was gonna say Cindy Lauper a lot. And um, who else are that? Because 80s some of the songs do ring a bell, like um, from other songs, like "Dancing with My Heart Break." I don't know if you ever got this, but the beginning of the song when it comes on, yeah, I'm like, "Hey, Mickey, you're so fine, you're oh so fine, you're no, my Mickey." I'm gonna have to listen to that. And then, but I never get to that part because yeah. your voice comes in. But oh in the my beginning, goodness, <laughs> I wanna. That's that's cool though. I feel like a uh, "Can't Sleep" would be a great live song. Can't Sleep is so fun right? to do. Like, it's my like, favorite. Okay. And because I feel like, I don't know, I just love That's the whole... another one that goes down. It and goes then down and then, then that big... Yeah, and yeah. with the boys that when they kick in back yeah. in again. Because, yeah, we do... I do do a lot of... You're right. My bridges kind of drop out. Um, and I, it's probably only a handful of songs, honestly. Be, maybe, uh, yeah, that I, that I can think of, but... Yeah, it's, it's, but then we do that banging yeah. last chorus, like, and it's it is so fun to do that. Yeah, it live. just seems like those songs would be are made to be sung live. Yeah, and they're my favorite ones to do. So mm-hmm. I think that's why, as well, when I go to record songs, like, because I performing is literally my favorite thing to do in the whole entire world. Mm-hmm. 
So I kind of think of songs or want to write songs that I'm like, oh, that'd be so fun to sing live. So that's why the ballads and stuff always get a little shoved to the side mm -hmm. because I'm like, oh, that's not as fun to perform. No, of course not. <laughs> You're very visual. Yeah. And you said you work with Matthew, who's your, yes. your visual guy. And he's your cover arts. And uh, how much... How much are you involved in doing, like, the, your music videos? I love your, it. I love uh, it. Yeah, like, I suppose art. apart from doing live performances, like, if I could have the money to do music videos mm -hmm. every week, I would. I love, I love, like, the whole, because I, I mean, I went to school studying, like, um, film and stuff, mm -hmm. too. So I really, I love the whole, like, you know, picking out all the costumes and deciding, like, where we're going to shoot and the ideas and coming up with like stuff and Matthew and I we just riff together like coming up you know and we will just kind of write down everything and act like we're superstars and we've got the no like a limited budget and then we start to rein it down and go okay what realistically can we film and do on a budget and um, but make it look really cool mm. and I I, it's, I love the challenge of yeah. it well, as well what would you say a, a budget would be like honestly like can't sleep because we that's a win an escalator or that's one of the escalator so luckily I got to shoot like we got yeah, I mean we were so lucky we got to shoot down like in the so subway much, which you huh. apparently we did not know how permit. much trouble you can get into and you need to yeah, get a permit, permit yeah. we did not we got so much cool footage there it was like we just finished filming and this guy was like you guys got a permit and I was like please do not take because I've had friends that have said like they've taken our camera like the you know all the footage away from us and then a friend the of mine she so was digital. like yeah take the well take, I know I'm pulling <laughs> it out the film. The, they make you delete it yeah. um yeah take the film out and the girl my friend that was with us she was like and Matthew was at the top filming and she's like yeah he's just up there do you want it we're just finishing and he's like, no, that's fine. And we literally, just, and I was like, <gasps> but so that, and then we shot a lot of it at Hotbox. A lot of the scenes were shot at Hotbox, which is my business. I've got a vintage store. So with a big parking lot and like they do, yeah. so we got to use that. And then I hire, I went to a place where it was by the hour. So basically a brothel hotel and Hide that up for a few hours and we did like yeah, the yeah. other scenes where I've got my friend wrapped up in plastic. There's a mirror on the roof. It was exactly, I wanted one of those. Like, cause mm -hmm. I was like, if you're going to go murder someone, cause I'm killing all these men in the video, mm -hmm. where would you take them to? Clearly one of those disgusting hotels, you know? And, <laughs> but I think, and then me and my friend edited it all, which, um, I mean, she, she did it to be, but I sat there with her, like, and I would watch every single piece and pick mm -hmm. out the bits. Mm -hmm. So it didn't pay for an editor. Matthew filmed it. I didn't pay for that. I only paid, for, and like I paid for my costumes and stuff. So honestly, I think I made that video for about four hundred dollars, mm. which was pretty, yeah, yeah. pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like normally about a thousand dollars, like, is what you can get away with. But I love guerrilla style. That's basically <laughs> every video is guerrilla style, and well, not, we have things that we're going to plan out, but then yeah. we never know quite what's going to happen. Well, what about uh, pretend? Oh, pretend was. At Hotbox again. Yeah. But you, and the, how it ends, it shows yeah, you. Yeah, we kinda pulled it all back. We, so each scene, because we wanted um, it to be monochromatic. So each scene, there was a different color. orange scene, a green scene, a pink scene. Was there one more? I don't know. A purple, a lavender scene. And so, yeah, we just got like fabric or different backdrops. Mm -hmm. And then I'd have all the props like I was making. I'm always spray painting, making, mm -hmm. printing crazy things out. Um, yeah, it was really cool. I had a milk. Because um, there's a line in the song that says the only time I want to see your face again is on the back of a milk carton. Yeah, that's the end of the song, right? Yeah, yeah, so then I got a milk carton, this cool plastic one, got pink milk, and then printed out. My friend made me, like, he put his head on it, like the missing boy, and, like, like it was missing, and, like, it was so cool. Oh, yeah, I yeah. love making all the props and, like, coming. It's yeah. just so fun to me, like, yeah. And it does add up, like you start, like when you're like, because I kind of try to space it out, and then all of a sudden I'm like, wait, what have I been buying for this? How mm. much have I spent? But I don't know. Well, if you're I mean, smart about it, and you, yeah. and if this is what you love to do, and you want to do it, like I just feel like if there's a will, there's a way. What are you gonna and like? What are you gonna if you're not doing it? What are you gonna be doing that money anyways? Right, exactly. Spending on stuff, stuff. Just like yeah, jump. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So you, Starbucks coffee. Yeah, like I don't need another one. No. <laughs> you could save up. 
a few of those and, you know, I made 10 of those and it's over a hundred bucks or something. What? You know? That's so. why I'm like with people. But it's, I yeah. just like get it, get out But you're creating it. something, you yeah. know, it's a little bit different. You're creating something and it's for your music, your art. Yeah. I mean, you need to put some money into it. That's like if right. You, if you're no, not that's spending the thing money, too. If you're not spending uh, any money, like uh, how are people going to see you or like, it, you know, yeah. and it depends on what type of artist you want to be. But obviously I want to be a visual artist and yeah. I want that kind of as my brand. So it's like, yeah, you got to, put stuff out and do yeah. things. Otherwise people are not going to see what I can do. Yeah, and that. Exactly. So, and you but put, you can't let money stop you people. Like you just gotta, well, just you just gotta, gotta do, do it. it. Yeah. Like yeah. you said, you, you have an iPhone and we all have iPhones. You could film. You, you could, could edit. Do it. You could. On yeah, that. You, you can yeah. even. I know like, people do full video, like oh on God. everything I on do iPhone. I do a lot of mine. A Mine's all on the, cause I actually, Getting it onto the computer. We it did edit Can't Sleep on the computer, but like I said, my friend actually did that. But I now, if I do any of my videos, everything's like, on, I actually find it easier to do it on the I, phone. I cannot do that, but I, I I lear- like, I've never learned that way. So, but I know, yeah. know people, and a lot of people like that. And there's all these cool like apps that you can get now Nowadays. that do all these like cool effects to things. And <laughs> it's just so crazy. Like, I'm yeah. just like, wait, I just did this on my phone? What the hell? Yeah. You're paying for those though, aren't you? Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you forget about that I'm like walking around with a very expensive phone all the time. Yeah, it's all the apps that you pay for. Make sure you use them, people. I know, know. That is the thing I do need. I go through them every now and again because sometimes yeah. like, you forget. Subscription keeps on going. Well, yeah, because sometimes mm-hmm. you like can get a free like week. three day or a week. And if yeah. you get onto it and just do it, then you got to remember not to do it. Mm-hmm. But then sometimes I'm like. Wait, what have I got all these Apple charges for? And I'm like, oh, I still am paying for that. Yeah. Stupid thing that I've only used once. So yeah, <laughs> check your phone. <laughs> yeah, check your phones. Uh, you mentioned your the hot box. Yeah. And you have a vintage shop. Tell me about that a little yeah. bit. Yeah, so it's South Pasadena. Come visit us. We've got a really cool vintage store. Uh-huh. It's called Hot Box Vintage. And uh, also it's online as well. If you're not there, if you're anywhere around the world, you can go check it out. Hotboxvintage.com. But um yeah, we, I started went into business with my friend about five years ago. She'd had the store longer, but we'd moved to a bigger location, and mm-hmm. that's when I went into business with her, and I love it. I love clothes, but I do feel like we have a very big problem in the world with consuming too much stuff and mm-hmm. just buying, buying, buying. And I, 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 I have this problem myself, but I try to be so much better now, and I really just try to mainly – get vintaged or recycled because mm. we are doing crazy stuff to the planet. Like the clothing industry is one of the biggest problems with the environment. Yeah, yeah, so definitely. yeah, that's how I just love vintage stuff. And also you're going to be wearing something that not everyone is wearing. Like why do we all want to wear the same thing that everyone has? Mm. I just think that's so weird. I'd rather have like a cool vintage thing that no one else has. Yeah, yeah. I agree. You know, I like so vintage. much better. I like Cheaper, but in for the environment. You look cool. Yeah, you look cool. <laughs> you look cool. hipster. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and with vintage, you can make so many different styles and outfits and put yeah, together. Yeah, put something together. Yeah, it's just so together. different. Yeah. And I've just got a sewing machine again that I have not had a long time and just reworking pieces and making them, you know, if it doesn't quite fit mm-hmm. or it's too long. Uh, chop it off and put a hem on it or do like there's so much stuff that you can do or if it's a little bit big you can take it in or you know it's just yeah it's just fun and it's just just, we all just need to get onto it yeah I think it is getting so much bigger vintage so I think we're all realizing that we just don't need to consume or buy how would you explain like a dress like Ralphie Okay, so yeah, to me the diff. So in Hotbox Vintage as well, like we're our store's pretty big, and we kind of buy, like obviously it's stuff that De- what Delilah Delilah's my business partner, what we think is cool and in, in vintage, but mm-hmm. we definitely buy a more broader range of styles and things. Where my just like Ralphie rack and where it's going to be the shop, it'll it's pieces that are from my wardrobe that I've been collecting and I've just got to get rid of stuff because I have way too much things. Um, or it's things that I might, like, I would wear. So on my rack, I'm not just buying, like, even though they're like, oh, that's a cool sweater that's vintage. But it, and I'm like, but would I actually wear it? 
And if I wouldn't, I'm not going to have it from my store. I'd maybe take it to Hotbox if I find it cool, but it won't be on my store. I mean, I have a pretty broad range of what I like to wear. Like, I like kind of boho hippie vibes to uh, glamour and sequins. Well, you said you, for your performances, you like wearing black. Is that kind of how you are as well? Like, you like wearing black? I love black. Mm -hmm. I love gold and I love green. So Mm -hmm. they're like my favorite colors. Um, but I just like to wear, cause I feel like people just get way too caught up with clothes or like overthink it too much. Mm-hmm. I just think it's just like, if you like it on you and you feel good, then wear it. Don't overthink, don't overthink things too much and just wear things that make you happy and mm-hmm. feel good. Like, and don't worry about it. Like what you other people are thinking about, you know what I mean? Like who cares? Like if you feel like you look good in it, then you go out and wear it. Like, mm. so, but yeah, I just try to be like very effortless. Like, you know, it's just easy yeah. to me. It's like easy. Like I always wear these kind of like oversized men's mm-hmm. either silk or like mm-hmm. um, cotton tops with it's a cool like a print. a jungle vibe. A jungle vibe. Yeah, something <laughs> with a cool print on it. Cause then you can just wear something really simple underneath and then that's your outfit and people will come up oh my god like this is literally my favorite shirt if it was a guy you just have it open just have it open (laughs) and like and my friend he's worn it he's stolen it actually i think justin's even might be wearing this in one of the music videos (laughs) but um it's like nothing really the shirt like an amazing print but like there's something so i just try to pick that's what i try to pick or like a cool hat i normally have a hat on Mm -hmm. Something or like bold jewelry to give you that little pizzazz, but it's nothing. I mean, people come up to me all the time going, oh my God, I love your outfit. And I'm like, I'm literally wearing jean shirts and a crop top. Five dollars. <laughs> Five dollars. But like, but with a, something, something, mm-hmm. accessories and stuff like that, or a jacket. Like it's obviously a bit too warm right now to be wearing jackets, but a really cool a laser jacket, mm-hmm. like it just finishes off your outfit and you're not doing anything crazy. Yeah. So that's very my aesthetic. Um, that's the kind of stuff that'll be, I don't know, do, on can the racks. People, Do you feel like some people try too hard with fashion or? <sighs> yeah. I just feel like it should just be fun mm-hmm. as well. Like, and don't get me wrong. I know fashion is very serious if you're a designer and you're making couture thing, you know, it's very hard. It's mm-hmm. like to make that kind of stuff and the work that goes into things. I, mean, mm-hmm. I know people are taking it serious, but at the end of the day, it's just fucking clothes. Yeah. And we should not be thinking that hard or that much like about it. It mm-hmm. just, it's more, I just think people get so insecure or, you know, or when they're just trying to, you know, you can see someone when they're walking down the thing and I don't know, it was just like, it just looks like too much of an effort. Like, I don't know, sometimes Matthew, so when I go to events too, he's like, just wear like a crazy outfit. I'm like, I don't need a tent. I don't need to go there and have, like, if I feel like it, if I just got this wild jacket and I'm like, I'm wearing that tonight because mm-hmm. I feel like wearing it, but I don't wear things to try and get attention. You know, I don't need to, I would, don't think I'd ever put on like the meat dress, like Lady Gaga, mm-hmm. just to, I love Lady Gaga, but just to get that attention, like, is not my aesthetic or my brand. I just like to wear things that I'm like, I think this is cool. Mm. Someone else might not. It might be, I like to be overdressed all the time, but that's just, you know, but Mm. yeah, it's just, just don't think too hard, people. If you put it on, you feel good, you like it, then great. Sometimes, but I do drive myself crazy over clothes. I'll be like, oh my God, I've got nothing to wear with a, garage full of 10 racks or something full of clothes and it's like yes you do (laughs) one article of clothing can make it's your outfit outfit. yeah yeah Yeah. and it's also your swag this is true like people do like like you said if you enjoy it then that will show too it shows yeah Yeah. i mean some people when you just see them walking down the street now like and i love giving people compliments when they have Mm. an, an amazing outfit on or you know, it was just like, wow. Like, I can't even care. It just comes out of my mouth. Well, people like, like it, too. You know, they like your nose. Yeah, you should tell people when they look nice. I feel like we just got to, people got to stand out more by vibe, good vibes Only all the time. Only when they look nice. No, but you know, if <laughs> no. someone like, you know, they like just being like, you know, saying hello to people even is a nice thing That's to do sometimes. That's the nicest sometimes. thing you can do, yeah. 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 No. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. Yeah. So you have 
the song that you, you want to be working on, hopefully. Get the remix. Get the you remix. Have the show. Where's the shows. show going to be? It's at the Black Rose. It's a free show. So you guys should come down. With We found new music. Mm-hmm. Um, it's Grant Owens, and he's the guy putting it on. And honestly, all the acts look so... I'm actually a little nervous. Mm-hmm. Um, everyone, I looked up everyone, of course, that's playing. There's four humble. of us on the list, and they're like... Everyone looks so good. So I'm mm. so excited for the show. 27th, September, free show. We found mm. the music. Or if you go into Ralphie Music is where all my junk is on mm. Instagram or TikTok or my website, ralphiemusic.com. Like all the things will be up there. And, yeah, it should come. It's a really – I we put on a really fun show. And like I said, the, all the acts look really good. I'm like, actually, I'm excited. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps you humble. <laughs> no, yeah. I was like, oh, my goodness. These people are, like, really good. I'm like. And then uh, is there anything else? No, I mean, I was like, I uh, think there's another show coming up, the Witch Pop one in October, but the dates keep changing okay. around, so I won't blurt it out now. But Anything um, artistically or project-wise that you're thinking about or that's on your mind that you want to? do or no the only thing i want to do with one of my friends i actually want to start our own youtube channel where we just because i've got so many artist friends and Mm -hmm. people and just yeah i just want to start talking to all my amazingly talented friends and like podcast like no i mean not a podcast (laughs) i want to do a youtube show because you know i'm like i mean it can be both oh yeah yeah, but like on youtube yeah. yeah like a kind of yeah with my friend kelly he's um an amazing artist himself and he's also got a shop and he's opening up this new one it's like the perfect place i feel mm. like to have to start filming it not at the hot and box not at the hot box it gets too hot there and we do too many things there mm. i'm actually going to be doing a fashion thing oh it's because it gets hot i thought people just smoke no smoke weed that's in there. the funniest <laughs> thing like my business partner does not even smoke weed at yeah. all me on the other hand might be different but yeah no it's just fucking hot as right. balls in there like right. literally it's, it's she's wild in the hot box. <laughs> <laughs> Just check it out, people. Check it out, but come check it out. Maybe we're like maybe next week when it's a bit yeah, cooler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll buy online, yeah. you know. <laughs> they deliver. No. <laughs> we are going to do local deliveries. Um, actually, uh, coming up for the holidays. <laughs> nice. Can't believe we're at that time of year. Almost that's no. so scary. Well, the Christmas uh, EP here. Oh, the Christmas <laughs> EP. I should have already been working on yeah, that if I was going to do the, the Christmas yeah. EP. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't single. think I'm a Christmas EP kind of girl. Single. Yeah, a single. Maybe we'll pop one out. You never know. <laughs> well, uh, any other words of advice for anyone or No, or I don't know. Or, Thanks for listening, guys. Yeah, thank you. And thanks for having me. Yeah, it's been so fun. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Just be nice to everyone. That's my only advice to people. It's yeah, nice it's... to be nice is my other thing to say. I couldn't agree more. Yeah. We'll end on that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Alfie. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. You're listening to the Tastemakers with Zebra and Jeebs on Dash Radio.